this. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم قال مؤله رحمة الله عليه والقضاء في الجميع ما وراء ذلك Prayers are considered make up قضاء after all of those aforementioned times. He told us about the preferred and the necessary times of the five daily prayers. The Muhtar, which is the preferred time of Muhr, is from Zawal until the will, the shade of everything, is equal to itself plus the little of the of the zawal. The asr is from that until the yellowness of the sun. And at Maghrib, uh, before Maghrib, he said that the daruri of both Zuhr and asr and ends at sunset. And then the Mukhtar of Maghrib, according to the author, is very short. But I told you that the most authentic is that the Mukhtar of Maghrib goes up to Maghrib al-Shafa, which is the beginning of Isha. And the Mukhtar of Isha until the first third the night and their Baruri goes up to Fajr. And the Muhtar of Fajr starts there until Isfah when it is clear. And the Baruri goes up to sun, sunrise. And he said, Walkadau fi jami'i mawara adalik. When one prays before these aforementioned times, one is making up. He is not praying on time. And he said, "Woman, أخر الصلاة حتى خرج وقتها فعليه ذنب عظيم إلا أن يكون ناسيا أو نائما." He who delays a prayer until its time has passed, then he has upon him a grand sin. Unless he forgot, he forgot or was asleep. So if one <clears throat> delays a prayer, he said, it is a great sin. It's one, it is one of the greatest sins actually unless there is, a, there is a valid excuse such as forgetfulness and or one was asleep. The dalil for that is the saying of Allah فَخَلَذَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْهُ أَضَاعُ الصَّلَاةِ وَاتَّبَعُ الشَّهَوَاتِ فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ غَيَّهِ Allah after mentioning and praising the Anbiya in Surah to Maryam those great Anbiya, such as Sayyidina Ibrahim, and Sayyidina Isa, and Sayyidina Ismail, and Sayyidina Musa, and Sayyidina Idris. He said, those who come after them did not follow their footsteps. And one of the signs that they didn't, Allah mentioned that they neglected prayer. فَخَلَبَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْبٌ أَضَاعُوا الصَّلَاةِ أَضَاعُوا الصَّلَاةِ وَاتَّبَعُوا الشَّهَوَاتِ Allah Tawarakah wa ta'ala links following one's desire with 
neglecting prayer. When one neglects one's prayers, then one cannot do anything but follow one's desire. إذا لم تشغل نفسك بالخير شغلتك بالشر There is no independence You are either the servant of Allah of your maker the maker of the heavens and earth or the servant of your ego والعياذ بالله تبارك وتعالى And the scholars they say if you do not busy yourself with that which is good if you do not busy your nafs with that which is good, then your nafs will take you and cause you to be busy with that which is evil. Allah Ta'ala in Surah Al-Ma'un says, فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاءُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَعُونَ Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam according to Sayyidina Sa'ad al-Nabi wa Qasr al-Dila'an who was asked about this saying of Allah. What the meaning of this saying is. فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُسَلِّمِ Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is declaring a severe punishment to those who perform prayer. And death, but he say, الَّذِينَ وَمْعَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُمْ Who are they? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, these are those who delay their prayer until its time passes. And in a hadith narrated by, by Ibn, uh, the book of Ibn Majah, in the book of Ibn Majah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man anna wa ahlahu wa mala. من فاتته صلاة العصر فكأن ما وتر أهله وما له. He who leaves the salah, neglects the salah until it passes, is as though he was deprived of his family and his wealth. That's how severe neglecting one's prayer is. In the hadith of Abdullah ibn Abbas, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man jama'a bayna salatayni min ghayri udri, faqad ata babam min al-kabair. If one combines two salah without any valid excuse, one has brought about a great sin from among the greatest sins. Or one has arrived at the door of the greatest sins the deadly sins. So that is for one who delays the prayer without any valid excuse. But if it is delayed because there is an excuse, such as forgetfulness, the Prophet wasallam says, Allah, <laughs> that mistake and forgetfulness have been lifted for my ummah, meaning there is no sin then. One just have to make up the prayer. When one remembers if one was asleep, when one wakes up. Salah is one of the greatest things in our deen, as I said yesterday. One of the last things the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commended and advised us to respect before his departure of Ali Salatu was prayer. Says the Then he said, Well, I don't want to make it wrong. Well, I don't want to make it wrong. وبعد صلاة العصر إلى المغرب إلى صلاة المغرب وبعد طلوع الهجر إلا الورد للنائم عنه وعند جلوس وعند جلوس إمام الجمعة على المنبر 
وبعد الجمعة حتى يخرج من المسجد. He starts talking about the forbidden times, times that are not permitted for one to establish prayer or to pray in. Actually, not prayer, uh, nafl prayer. The times that nafl is, uh, the time during which nafl is is forbidden. Say, "Well, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling too bad. It's a lot of stuff here. You know, the times in nafl prayers, nafl prayers are not performed after the morning prayer, which is subh prayer, until the sun rises." Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to Umar ibn Abbas, when he asked him. صلي صلاة الصبح ثم أقصر عن الصلاة حتى تطلع الشمس وترتفع فإنها تطلع بين قرني شيطان وحينئذ يسجد لها الكفار. وفصل عيسى نفسه to him pray صبح and stop I mean abstain or refrain from prayers until the sun has risen. And the Prophet ﷺ said, the sun rises upon two corners of its shape and and that is the time the kuffar prostrates before it. Allah tells us in Surah to Rusulat, لا تسجدوا للشمس ولا للقمر اسجدوا لله الذي خلقهن ان كنتم اياه تعبدون. The sun worshippers used to prostrate before the sun when the sun rises and they used to do the same when the sun sets. So these are two times during which prayer is forbidden, is haram. Not the prayer is haram. Let one say that, oh, I wake up. Late now, it's the sun is rising. I cannot pray morning prayer. No, the obligatory prayer has no restricted time. Whenever you wake up, or whenever you remember, you have to make it. Up. When we talk about forbidden times, we're talking about nafl prayers. Some people think that these hours you cannot even offer fardu prayer. Actually, somebody asked, told me that when he misses Maghrib, he just he waits until the next day. Then he will pay, pray Maghrib of today and the Maghrib of yesterday. To him, Maghrib is only to be prayed at the time of Maghrib. What a big mistake! Um, as as I always say, we I mean that's that's a big that's a big problem. In the ummah, when my kid doesn't do their homeworks, or they don't wake up on time to go to school, or they fail the exam, I am fed up, so angry at them, so angry, so mad. I'm angry with them. Why? Because they missed the dunya. But when they miss the prayer, when they spend the night playing games and wake up at 10 the next day because they don't have school, I have no problem. I don't even bother if they pray or not. I don't even bother if they know their deed or not. Whatever we are looking for in this dunya stops here. But our deed must be priority. We have to do our best to learn, to know, and to help our kids learn and know their teeth. Many came to America without knowing a single English word and do their best to earn money speaking English. But many were born in Islam, and till now, if you tell them how many are the fra'id of Salah, they will say, I don't know. They will tell you just, I make Allahu Akbar, and this, and this, and this. 
They do not recognize what is fard in the prayer from what is sunnah. What is mandu from what is makruh. Mufsidatu salah wa mubtilatu. That's a big musibah. So Allah tana wa lakum The Prophet sallallahu in the hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar said, La salata ba'da tulu'i al-hajri ila raka'atay al-hajr. That is in Abu Dawud and Ahmad and Tirmidhi. There is no enough of prayer after Salatul Fajr. There is no enough of prayer after Tulu'ul Fajr, after Fajr has arrived, except the two Raka'ah of Fajr. So, <clears throat> but he's saying, وَبَعْدَ تُلُوعِ الْفَجْرِ إِلَّا الْوِرْدَ لِنَائِ مِنْ عَنْهُ so prayer is not permitted after, uh, I think I missed, yes. وَلَا تَصَلَى نَعْمِلَ بَعْدَ الصُّبْحِ إِلَى اَفْتِبَاعِ الشَّمْسِ وَبَعْدَ صَلَاةِ الْعَصْرِ إِلَى صَلَاةِ الْمَغْرِبِ After Asr prayer until the prayer of Maghrib. Prayer is also forbidden between Asr and Maghrib. Let's say between Asr and sunset. That's what the, uh, the scholars agreed upon. As for prayer after sunset and before Maghrib, the scholars have, uh, they differ. The Maliki scholars, they say no, there is no prayer between Asr up to Maghrib. The others, they say no, there is prayer after, before Maghrib, after sunset. Because for Imam Malik, Rahmatullah, when the Prophet Sallallahu said, you can pray, he said, Liman Shah, to whom he, to, to, to he, who, whoever wills. He said, Al-ibadatu la takunu mubahatan, imma wajibatan, aw mustahabbatan, aw makruhatan. But ibaha to him is something that doing it is equal to not doing it. That's why for Imam Malik, it is not recommended to pray before uh, uh, Maghrib prayer, of course, after sunset. But before sunset, there is no prayer. For the other scholars, such as the Hanabila, they don't see any problem praying, and to them it is recommended even. Because, by the Kulli Azadani, Salah. And after Tulu'ul Fajr, after the first light of dawn, except for a regular routine of prayers that one overslept and was not able to perform. Meaning you have a habit or the, a word of 20 rakat a night, then you overslept, it, you couldn't perform. It. When you wake up, you realize it's fajr time. He said, you can make them up before you pray Fajr. The proof of his saying that you cannot pray between Asr until sunset is the saying of the Prophet Sallallahu Bukhari Muslim. And the proof that one can make up the routine that one misses after Fajr, that one misses at night and he can pray after Fajr is the saying of the Prophet Sallallahu Manna Ma'an Wirdi, whoever overslept and could not perform his word, meaning his routine prayers, Aw Nasiyo, or he forgot it, let him or let them pray it when they remember and when they wake up. And the hadith of Sayyidina Abu Al-Khattab that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said من الليل أو عن شيء منه فقرأه ما بين صلاة الفجر وصلاة الظهر كتب له كأنما قرأه من الليل So here he's telling you that this is the time you are not to perform salah. But he says, if you slept or you forgot, 
to perform a routine prayer that you have a habit to do every single night, then there is no problem that you pray that between Fajr and and Dhuhr. But make sure you don't pray when the sun rises because that's a forbidden time to perform Nafl prayer. To perform Nafl prayer. So inshallah he is going to continue to tell us the different times that Nafl prayers are forbidden. Or in the, 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 the forbiddance is either makru or haram. Inshallah Ta'ala will go into these details tomorrow. We may lie to Barak wa Ta'ala. Hala sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Ala Ali Haqqa Qadri wa Miqdari al Azim. Allahumma inna ka'afu wa tuhibu al Afu. Tufa'afu anna wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen.